Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a 15 minute arm workout using dumbbells. I'm using 10 kilogram dumbbells, but make sure to use whatever weight you feel comfortable with today. We've got no repeated exercises, so 15 exercises, 30 seconds of work with 30 seconds of rest. Grab your dumbbells, let's get going. So first exercise is going to be some curls. What we're gonna do is we are going to bring the palms supinated as we lift. So all that means is that at the top of the rep, the palms are going to be facing the body. So grab your two dumbbells. Okay, let's get ready to go. 30 seconds of curls. Let's go slow on the way down. So we strong on the way up and then slowly lower the weight down. What we wanna be doing here is focusing on not swinging the dumbbells up. So we're doing this movement slow and with control. Tense the biceps at the top, slowly lower down. And take a rest, 30 second rest. Next up, we've got tricep extensions. So these are gonna be overhead extensions, both dumbbells. We're gonna start with the arms extended and then we slowly lower down by bending at the elbow and then drive back up to overhead extension. Let's get ready to go in a few seconds. So, dumbbells at the top, slowly lower down and then drive back up. Fifteen seconds. A few more seconds. Let's take a rest. Okay, back to curls next. These are going to be hammer curls. So that, all that means is that your palms are going to stay in a neutral position. So as we raise the dumbbells. Look at the arms stay, sorry, the palms stay, so no twisting of the wrist, the palms stay in that neutral position for the whole rep. I'm gonna get going in a few seconds. Let's go, hammer curls. Again, we're doing this movement slow and with control. We're not rocking the body, we're not using momentum. It's all gonna be bicep strength here. Squeeze the biceps at the top. Focus on the eccentric phase, which is the lowering phase of the rep. 10 seconds. A few more seconds. And rest. Okay, next up we've got Arnold press. So this is just like a shoulder press, like a normal overhead press with dumbbells, but we start with the palms facing the body and then we finish at the top with the palms facing forward. So there's a twist with each press. Again, slow and with control. Get ready, we've got about five seconds. Let's get those dumbbells up ready. And let's go. Arnold press. So overhead press with a twist. Five seconds. Take a rest. Okay, next up we've got shrugs. We're gonna be doing these as shrug holds, which just means that we're going to be holding the, uh, the rep at the top. So we've got the, uh, so we've got the shoulders contracted. This is gonna be a really good exercise for the traps. If you've got heavier weights here, heavier dumbbells, you can switch to them and do normal reps. Because we've got lighter weights for shrugs here, we're gonna be doing holds. So we hold at the top, slowly lower down. So we're gonna keep that hold for a few seconds before lowering back down. That way we're gonna make the most of having lighter weights because normally we would move the weight up a bit for shrugs. Five 
five seconds. Let's hold at the top now. Hold that, that concentric hold and lower down. Okay, front raise twists next. So we just worked on the traps. These are gonna be on the delts. All of these exercises are gonna make your arms look better. If that's what your goal is, if your goal is to get stronger, it's gonna do that too. So these are front raise twists. What we're going to do is do a front raise, but with supinated palms. So that means we're just gonna twist the palms so facing up at the top of each rep and back down to a neutral position. Alternate each lift, let's go. So slight bend in the elbow here. We raise and twist. One more. And rest. Okay, great work. Next up, we've got kickbacks. So for this, we're gonna be working the triceps. We're going to have soft knees hinge at the hips. And then from this position, we simply extend at the elbows and lift the palms up behind the body. Lift those dumbbells up. Squeeze your triceps at the top and then slowly lower back down. So we're slightly bent over here. We lift those dumbbells behind the body, slowly lower down. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. rest. Okay, back to the biceps next, drag curls. So this time we stay in supinated position, so palms facing forward. We're slightly bent over here, so a slight hinge at the hips. Again, soft knees about shoulder width apart. And what we're going to do is we're going to be raising those dumbbells straight upwards towards the chest. Five seconds. So let's go, slight hinge. Raise dumbbells up, squeeze at the top, slowly lower down. Ten seconds. One more. Okay, take a rest. Next up, we got push up. So let's get down onto the mat. We're going to be doing these military style. So that means elbows stay tight into the body. We get right down until we're touching or almost touching the floor. We push up to full extension at the top. No cheating on these press ups. Let's do these strong with control. Now, of course, if you want to protect your wrists, we can do these on the fists. And also, if these are a bit too challenging, then of course, you can do these with your knees on the floor. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> 10 seconds. Oh, <laughs> a bit of extra weight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 30 second rest. And we've got another one. Okay, the boys are joining the workout. So, what have we got next? Lying extensions. So, we're lying on our back, both dumbbells. What we're going to do is just extend at the elbow to lower them down. Hi, right, buddy. Hi, right, just give me a moment. Thanks, Freddie. Thank you, buddy. Okay. Let's get ready. Extend at the elbows. <laughs> Pretty. Okay, okay. Calm down. Calm down. Let's see. Keep going. I know, it's very exciting, isn't it? We've got 10 seconds. <sighs> ah. 
few more seconds. Take a rest. Ah, great work. Okay. <laughs> Even harder when you've got a puppy. What have we got next? Concentration curls. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use the knee as an anchor here. So the elbow goes in front of the knee. We're going to do a really slow and controlled bicep curl. And then we slowly lower down, really focus on the eccentric phase, the lowering phase. So, we're going to use that knee as an anchor to isolate the bicep by keeping the elbow in a fixed position. Okay, 15 seconds. Oh, this really targets the bicep, this one. Great exercise. Okay, slowly lower down, focus on that lower, and rest. Okay, bit of a rest now, and then let's do the same on the other side. You can grab a sip of water if you need. Okay, 10 seconds. So let's get ready to do the same. On the left arm, elbow in front of the knee, concentrate on that lowering phase, do these slow and with control, squeeze the bicep at the top, <sighs> 10 seconds, 5 seconds, okay slowly lower now, Focus on that lower, keep lowering, and rest. Ooh, okay, just a few more exercises to go. So next, again, just one dumbbell lying flat on our back. What we're gonna do is we're going to do tricep extension again, but this time it's gonna cross the body. So we we'll start with the right arm, you lower down until the dumbbell's just over your left shoulder, and then we bring it back up. So let's go slowly lower down and then extend back up again. Slow and with control. And rest, okay. Take a rest, next we'll be doing the same on the left side. And then just one more exercise left. <sighs> okay, 15 seconds of rest. Next time you come back to this workout, maybe you can try with a little bit heavier dumbbells. Promote muscle hypertrophy. So, let's go, 30 seconds. We can get stronger each time, either by extending the amount of time that we're doing work, so maybe next time we do this workout, add an extra five seconds of each exercise, add an extra 10 seconds, or we can do it with a heavier weight. Either way, we'll be getting stronger, we'll be promoting hypertrophy, so the building of muscle, and rest, okay. One more exercise to go. Well done. Almost there, one more exercise. Gonna finish up on diamond push-ups. So just like normal push-ups, but we're gonna have the hands close together with that diamond shape between thumb and fingers. It's gonna put a lot of load on the triceps. These are quite tough. Again, if you're struggling, go down to your knees and try and do a few more. You got this. Let's go, last 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds, come on, keep going. Keep going, come on. Let's do a few more. Last one. 
and rest. Great job. Well done for completing this workout. You absolutely smashed it. So if you like that, please subscribe to my channel, like the video. If you click the notification button, then you'll know every time I drop a new workout for you. I'll see you guys on the next workout.